Ave! Well, the nerves have doubled. Anywhere will do. Got about 10 seconds left. Oh, I've never experienced anything like this in football. Through the highs and lows of the club. Just stick by it. Possibly the hardest game so far. Yorkshire takes on Hampshire, Tigers take on the Saints, as two teams battling for promotion take each other on near the end of the season. Yes, today is massive, as Hull City take on Southampton in the 33rd round of the most exciting, most competitive and most hectic league in the world, the EFL Championship. <laughs> Southampton away! Buzzing, oh, I can't wait. Honestly, I'm trying to stay optimistic and... I think we can pull something out today. I honestly do. I genuinely believe with the run we're on, I think we can try and nab a point or even go for the three points. I think we have the ability to do that. But I've looked at Southampton's team. I look at their record. I watched them play last week and the way they play, it's just absolutely incredible. A Premier League style of football. Not to mention they've only lost one game in 25 and haven't lost or drawn at home since September. <laughs> look at this, it's going to be brilliant. Oh dear. The last competitive fixture will just We'll just skip past that one. We we don't we we'll just ignore that one. No no. We don't need to remember what happened today. We take the long five-hour journey to Saint Mary Stadium. It may be a long away day, but I'm just so so excited. A Premier League ground, a ground I've wanted to go to for quite a few years now, and I'm just looking forward to it because we don't know when Southampton and Hull next play each other. It probably won't be for a good couple of years, so we just need to make the most of it. Yeah, we might get battered. We could even get a point. We might even push for the three points. Let's just enjoy the day. I Right then, off we pop. And it's Grandma! Well, that's a good start to the day. I've got odd shoes on. <laughs> Hello, Grandad. Nice day. Yeah. Grandma! Grandad! In live! In the flesh! How are you both? Very well, thank you. Very well. Brilliant. Score predictions. We take on Southampton today. Very tough game. Today, one one, I would say. <laughs> you know, I'll take that. What about you, Grandad? I think same. I think that if they play reasonably well, they'll get a one one draw. I will take and that if any day. Not on form, lose oh, I've just taken a look at the ground on Google Maps and it says that it's near a bit of water. So, if needs be, if we're 3 0 down at half time, we can go for a paddle. Everything's sorted. It's not very pretty, I tell thee. Walking through town. There's only one Grandad PT. The Tigers. The Tigers, is it? Bye, Grandad. There's a cat. I don't want to scare it. Aw, oh, look at it. Can I take what? the cat home, please? <laughs> the sun shield. Bye, Grandma. Oh, where shall we sit? We'll go with you. Hi, Grandma. We're gonna take a leisurely stroll around all. We've got an hour and a half before the bus sets off. Nice tree. Oh, dear. Whew. Oh, that was a longer walk than usual. Ticket office. What a mess. Apparently, my tickets were sent in post, but they haven't arrived, and I was told it was collection. So, I have to go to Southampton's ticket office and try and get a ticket there. Well, there's no guarantee I'm going to the game. Oh, I'm like, I don't know whether to cry or throw up, I'll be honest. Hatchin's got three look VTs. What an absolute legend. Oh, what a club we have, honestly. They've given us some biscuits as well. Absolute legends. They won Mr. EC. This is very long. Mackey's. Well, what's your go-to pre-match drink? We've been on the coach three hours. We've still got five to go. 
fun. I think we're in London. Are we in London? No, we're not in London, don't matter. I'll tell you what, I love this club. Mini cheddars, digestive biscuits and a golden bar. Oh, what a club, honestly. We're in Southampton. Look at that for a restaurant. It's quality. We're stuck in traffic. And I've still got tickets, I've just realised I need to pick them up. Where are you? I never want to sit on a coach again. I never want to step on a coach again. My knees feel like jelly. What were you? It's all still kick off. Let's hope the ticket office is open. It's going to be a long journey back. I'll tell you, I haven't seen security like this at a game for a while. <laughs> Quality. Players getting serenaded as they get into the ground. Love to see. You can tell this club is Premier League quality. I mean, you look at the shop, how big it is. Compare it to Hulls. Crazy. Bro, the food choice is it. Why is there a Union Berlin sticker? Of all stickers. Fair enough, we're in. Right, then the big reveal. They have taken the lids off, so it's a very awkward carry. But I'm looking forward to this. A new ground ticket. Let's have a look. Beautiful. No, I'm not going to lie. This stadium looks exactly like Leicester's. You got the big board. And you just change the colours around. It is genuinely Leicester Stadium. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we've just arrived at St. Mary's Stadium. What an incredible ground it is. Honestly, Premier League quality. The club shop alone just tells you what it needs to tell you about how strange it is to see a team like Southampton in the Championship. I think they'll be right back up for the Premier League in a matter of months, really, let's be honest. Now, there's two big points to talk about in terms of the lineup. The first one is Jean Michel Serri played in an African Cup of Nations final just over a week ago. He's come back to Hull, he's flown in yesterday, and he's straight into the lineup to take on Southampton. That just shows how committed he is to the club, how hard working and dedicated he is. It's just brilliant to see. He's so sweet. I just love Mika. Now, the second bit of news is Noro Ohio. It was put all over Twitter today that he was confirmed to start, and he's not even in the matchday squad. So why? You'd presume an injury, but I really hope he isn't injured. I really hope none of the players are injured, and if he is, a speedy recovery, of course. Now, I completely forgot to do this last game, but here's your lineup to take on Southampton. In goal, Ryan Alsop. Today's right back and captain, Louis Coyle. Left back, Ryan Giles. The two centre backs are Alfie Jones and Jacob Greaves. In midfield, John Mikel Seri, Regan Slater, and Fabio Carvalho. And up front, Anas Zarori, Jaden Philogene. And for his whole city, his first ever whole city start, Abdush Amur. Way up! I have no questions. But here we have it, Hull City take on Southampton in the 30 second round of the championship. What an attendance by the way from Southampton, that is incredible. And it will be Abdus Omar to take kick off. I'm so looking forward to seeing him play, honestly. Come on! I've just deep how important this game actually is. We when we go into the playoffs, they when they go into the automatics, everything's on the line. Oh no! Yes! Oh, I'm loving it. Uh, start at Jan Reese. What should, what should we start? Go on, Fabio. Shoot! Ah! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Don't oh, believe this. Why are we turning to Bayern Munich? Oh! Turn it down the way, Jaden! Here's the citizen, Jaden! We started a chance. I'm out of breath. Well in. Well out. We'll shake it all about. Stop. We're short. This was 
never going to be set out as a high goal scorer in open game. Both teams possession based. So we can hold on to this win. If we can hold on to a 1 0 win here, this will be up there with Leicester. Yeah, I'm into something good. What is that? Oh, it's well played. That's what it is. Honestly, I, I just I don't understand what's going on. What is happening? <laughs> Go on, I'm Josh. Oh. I don't understand what's going on. I physically don't. How are we dominating a team that's lost one game in 25? What is going on? Three, four. Boy, get this morning, baby, fly. No, no. Okay, okay, back to singing. Because this style of football, when it's working, just looks so beautiful to both teams as well. I find it mad, the mixture of players that both teams have here. Because there was three or four players that Hull were linked to from Southampton and vice versa. Ryan Jones to Southampton, Alfie Jones to Southampton. And then the other way around, we were looking at Willie Smallbone as well as Ryan Manning. I'm trying to show as much pitch as but it's just loads and loads of passing. Nothing's going on. The mission to start a chant fail. Well, no one joined in. I forgot the lyrics. Made myself look like a right start. We're pressing like an ironing board here. Oh, no way. Ah, what is this? No. I'm falling. Oh, come on, man. Come on, Come on. What is going on? How are we going to hold? What is going on? Yo, ole, ole. I might ask them to wait another 10 minutes for a goal. I'm running out of breath. <laughs> Do not scratch your eyes. Because that could cause an infection. Oh, fair play to Oh, no way. I'm going through all the emotions here. Oh. I don't know whether it's a cry, smile or laugh. Probably not cry. What a club. What a club. To Oma, to Oma just shoot. Oh! Sum it up, mate. Just sum it up. Unbelievable. Fire and swine, your little frog bear, mate. This is incredible. Because Ryan Giles is running down the wing. No words, really. Been good. One, two, three, four. Woke up this morning. Oh. This team was John Mikel Serry. It's like he's a missing link. With John Mikel Serry, he's like our missing link. Without him, we were good. But with him, we're brilliant. He shouts together that we can pass forward. What a play on. Four minutes added on, that'll do. Let's try and get another one. Kill the game. Oh, Well, I have no idea what happened there, but everyone's adamant it was an handball, even City fans. I'm not even joking, my knee's shaking. I just feel like I'm in total euphoria. I feel like I need to be woken up. And I nearly was then. Feeling fine. Got a nice string and a pie on my mind. Well in, well in, well in. Any second now, ref. Hey, up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wow. I'm just making noises at this point. That will do us half time. Wow! I have no words. I do. I'd like a drink and a pie. Come on, I'll go. I'd like a fanta. Hello. Usually I do a little bit of waffle at half time, but I went down and there was a big queue for me fanta and I was having a sing song, so I do apologise. But next video, I'm going to start, you know, talking a little bit more about the game. I think I was just having a. It was just crazy today. You're indestructible, always believe it, oh my god. Uh, the amount of strikers we've got, what a team. If we can hold on to 65th minute 2 0, we've got a chance. Player. Southampton already making four changes. We're not playing around here. 
Honestly, I think if we win this, it's going to be one of the best feelings as a football fan. It's incredible. Uh, Corner! Anas Arori! Anas! Anas Arori! Goes down the win! Anas Arori! Double substitutes from Bull City. Coming off, John Mikel Seri and Omar now. The Seri to play in an Afghan final a week ago. To play a full 62 minutes, incredible. Same with Omar. You know, his first start, you wouldn't think he hasn't played in the Championship before. He's just got bags of quality. Coming off, Tyler Morton. I don't stand too bad. My heart is going. I can't. I can't do it. 21 minutes to hold on. Anas, 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 No words really. I'm all right. Are you? Can't really sum it up. Fifth substitution. One back. Go on. No one there. I would not change anything for this game. Absolutely no. 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 We can't let them. We can't let them. No. Despite just drinking a full bottle of Fanta. My mouth is as dry as anything. Just realised this is our game in hand. We win, we go three points into the playoffs. This is just, oh, huge. Uh, I can't do this. We follow our city, everyone. No. Oh, well, we tried. Ten minutes. I can't. Oh, yeah. Something tells me I'm into something good. Hey, yo, my boy. Rosie's playing the way that the city should. Oh yeah. Go on. <laughs> I'll imagine three. We can imagine so. Uh, something tells me I'm into something good. Uh, yeah! Double substitution, a tactical one at that. Matty Jacobs comes on, Fabio Carvalho comes off, and Adama Traore comes on, and Anna Sorori comes off. We'll be walking back to your way, fans. I'm sure you get a great reception. I've never experienced anything like this in football. Through the highs and lows of the club. You sit by it and you get days like these magical days. On another note, Zorari's decided to start punching the uh, flag. No idea why. Maybe the corner flag upset him. 26,000, not many empty seats. Incredible. Oh, where is it? 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 No, no, no. We still have hope. We still have hope. We still have hope. We still have hope. Come on. Echo. Echo. You can't knock the atmosphere though. Honestly, it's been incredible. There's a lot of teams in the championship after what's happened to them. What's happened to Southampton? They're sticking by them, it's incredible. I've got my full respect for them, honestly. Corner. Oh! Village. Jaden! Oh. Well, the nerves have doubled, maybe even tripled. At least 10,000. Ah. Go. Shoot! We try. How long? How long? Six minutes. Oh! Something tells me I'm into something good. What's that? If you can't try, you see. Billie Jean comes off. Sean McLaughlin comes on. Five minutes to go. Oh. No, 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 please. Yeah. Good challenge. Out! Yes! I just, oh. It's like oil. It's absolutely everything into the game.
played with two broken ribs last season. And despite everything, gives his heart, everything to the badge. I love that man. Oh, please, lads. Please, well in, out, just out, anywhere. That'll do. Put city on my mind. I'm sweating buckets. I just, I just want to cry. Oh. Corner. Is it a corner? No, not a corner. A corner would have been better. Out, 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 please. Just out anywhere, please. Out, please. Blow it. Yeah, no, you want to blow it, blow it. Go on, out, 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 out. Oh. Yeah! 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 I love this club. I actually love this club. I love this club. I actually love this club. I love this club. I got here with it. Please, Dave. What a game! I love you, Dave. That's so deserved. Despite everything, there are tough times or easy times. We stay together as a group. Be it one to ninety. Football can be such. A strange sport sometimes. You just have to love every minute of this. People who don't know each other hugging. Everybody loving it. But we're all waiting for one thing, aren't we? Let's be honest. Yeah! Wakey wakeys. Rise and shine, Reese. I woke up this morning feeling fine. I, I, I can't honestly explain today. It's just been that much of a whirlwind in everything. I mean, just an incredible day. Probably, if not the best away game of the season. I think it does top Leicester. You know, going in as mighty underdogs with so much on the line. Everybody, including myself, I'll be honest, I thought we'd get absolutely battered. But we've gone in there resilient. We've tried something new. We've got a passionate fan base back in the team. And we go and get a really unexpected but well-deserved three points. I'm just so, so proud of the team. That is bright. Well, I mean, how do I turn volume off on that? Now, I just want to say a massive thank you to Jack, who's a Middlesbrough fan, who has sent this incredible... Match one, Crew Alexandra goalkeeping shirt. I'm just so, so thankful, so grateful. I'm going to be giving it to my dad and we absolutely love it. Just so, so thankful. I'm going to put his Instagram there. He has so many incredible shirts. Give him a message, give him a follow. Honestly, what a guy. Thank you. Now, I just want to say Southampton fans, I thought they were absolutely incredible. Not often you see a team relegated from the Premier League and still have fans stick by them in that capacity. Packing out the stadium midweek, honestly, I thought the fans were excellent and I felt really bad. Obviously, a huge result for Hull City, but I really do hope Southampton can get to the playoffs, automatic promotion. The main goal really is the Premier League. It doesn't really matter how they get it, as long as they get there. I really hope you do get there. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. That is okay. It would actually mean so, so much. It's been a true pleasure taking you to the fantastic St. Mary's Stadium to watch Hull City take on Southampton. I apologise, this outro has just been all over the place. It's about five o'clock in the morning. I haven't had sleep. I'm just a bit of a mess. This vlog... It's just been a bit hectic from, you know, getting to the ground and then wandering around to an abandoned house. It was just... Crazy, but I'm just so, so thankful. Up then, Tigers. Let's get to bed.